Alan, first of all, a very warm welcome to FC Midtjylland. Can you try to put into put some words into why you chose FC Midtjylland as your new destination? So first of all, I'm very, very happy, thrilled to, to be here. Uh, I, I've had several, I had several options uh, to choose from, uh, but uh, the way Michelin uh, approached me and the way they showed uh, uh, the commitment of bringing me here was was crucial. The the club is very ambitious already uh, on a, on a very very high uh, level, but uh, still willing to to improve and uh, to develop. So. Uh, me as a player, I have some experience, uh, but I also have some areas to improve and I think we can grow together, me and the club. Looking at yourself as a person and comparing with the sporting ambitions of, of FC Midtjylland, you want to play in the Champions League, you want to win the trophies, how does that fit you as a person? That fits me perfectly because uh, I've never had an experience to uh, play in a European competition. Uh, this, uh, this season uh, I managed to uh, qualify with the Polish national team for the Euros. Uh, I, I played two games there, I scored a goal. So it was uh, what an adventure, it was an experience that I, I was looking forward to and I achieved that. Uh, however, I still have some uh, more experience of European football to, uh, to achieve and uh, I'm sure that uh, either Europa League or Champions League uh, is something that uh, the club and me are looking forward to as well. And yourself, as a football player within the pitch, how would you describe your uh, your attributes? So I'm not a big fan of uh, talking about myself and my skills. Uh, uh, but uh, if I had to describe myself, I'm a classical number nine striker who feels uh, comfortable in the box. Uh, I like to get crosses from uh, from the sides to, to finish them off and that's where I uh, feel uh, the strongest, let's say. And uh, mm, yeah, obviously I'm, I'm here to score goals, uh, to give numbers, uh, so uh, that's, that's my ultimate goal, to help the team by, by scoring. And about helping the team, uh, yourself fitting into a squad, uh, the everyday life in a football team, how, how do you see your, your own role? Because you are 27 of age, you have experience from the national team, been to different clubs and countries. Uh, how, how do you see yourself fitting into a team and what kind of role do you participate with? So, uh, there are two, uh, two ways of helping the team, on and off the field. Uh, obviously, the one on the field is crucial, and that's why I'm here for. But uh, uh, I will also uh, use my experience to help other players grow if there is a chance, if there is a will uh, of other younger uh, players, uh, if they ask me for an advice or uh, they want to hear something from my experience, I'm there for them uh, whenever they need me. Uh, but uh, from what I saw, I watched uh, some Michelin games uh, last year, uh, maybe it's a young team, however, also a very, very uh, quality team that uh, doesn't really need much, much of uh, leadership because uh, you know you don't win championship if you're not mat mature enough. So uh, huge credit to the boys, and uh, I'll say it one more time: I'm here only to to help them on and off the field whenever they need me. But I will also. Uh, and need to, to learn to learn from them because it will work both ways. And uh, looking back at your career with the clubs and national team, like what what key experience do you want to bring here? Mm -hmm. uh, there's no one uh, one thing that I particularly want to bring here. Obviously, winning and scoring is uh, is a priority. Uh, that's uh, when it all starts with. Uh, uh, I also need some time to adapt to see how the team uh, functions, uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure with the warm welcome that I've received uh, so far, it will not be a big, uh, big thing for me to adapt into the uh, locker room. Uh, the key experience, you know, I've had uh, basically 10 years of uh, football career on the, on the highest level so far, and uh, I will use that, but how? It will. We will see. Uh, we'll see in the next upcoming weeks uh, where and how uh, me and the team uh, has to improve. 
So if we park the past and start looking at the future instead, like um, what personal personal ambitions uh, do you arrive with uh, looking at your time now in, in Midtjylland? Mm -hmm. So uh, first and foremost, uh, we want to achieve uh, team success, which is qualifying for the Champions League and uh, defending the championship title. This is number one. Uh, Secondly, I would like to be an important part of it. Uh, and again, I repeat myself by, by scoring, assisting and giving numbers. That's, that's, why that's what my job is. And uh, if, if that will be achieved, everyone is happy. And um, yeah, what, what do you look into uh, by start playing in a new league in a new country? The Danish Super League, and you mentioned it as well. Hopefully, the European competition is at the highest level. So, what um, what are you what are you expecting for the upcoming season? Looking into the new challenge. Uh, so yeah, it's a new experience for me to play in the Danish uh, Danish top tier. Uh, so I'm very curious. Uh, I had some uh, uh, time to uh, prepare myself by watching games, um, mostly uh, Michelin games. I had some. A Polish friends also in uh, in different uh, clubs in Denmark. Uh, in the past, I had played some friendly games against uh, top uh, Danish uh, Danish teams, so I know uh, what kind of quality this uh, this teams this league uh, this, this league has. So uh, I think I'm ready for it. But uh, as much as I can say that I'm ready, I'm also very curious how it turns out to be. And then the final question. Um... Do you have any certain memorable moments through your career who like took part in making you the person and the player you are today? I think whole experience uh, defines me as a player, as a as a person as well. I've uh, played in a few countries, so every country has different pros and cons. I had to be ready for uh, different uh, situations. I've worked in different circumstances. So there is not a one moment that I would say was a, was a key factor that uh, made me the player and the person I am today. But uh, I want to um, sum up my experience, my, uh, my skill set uh, to, to help the team uh, grow and myself as well.